When you last visited the doctor, can you remember if they touched you, shook your hand, did a physical exam, made a comforting gesture, or friendly tap on the shoulder? Or if you're a healthcare professional, can you recall the last time you touched a patient, or perhaps a patient touched you? How did that touch feel? Is touch in healthcare important? Although we're experienced doctors, we weren't sure. We think that touch is something important, but suspect it's something we take for granted. We thought it would be helpful to better understand how we use and learn how to touch in healthcare. Our research question was, what is the experience of, health, of touch in healthcare as a patient, as a doctor, as a nurse, as a physiotherapist, or an osteopath, as a psychologist, or a mental health counselor? Oh yeah, don't forget the dentist. Don't forget the dentists. And because we were interested in experience, we looked at the qualitative literature and we carried out a qualitative evidence synthesis. So we started reading. We found a thousand studies and we kept on reading. That librarian was a lifesaver. <laughs> we ended up with 35 papers. We organized the studies into groups. Of the 23 nursing papers, 30% uh, of them described the experience of male nurses. Were you surprised by that number, Martina? I was, and I thought, only men, moaning as usual. But then I was struck by the language they used. Mm. It was very warlike. We had combat, predator, threat, and many more. Strategy. We realized the male nurses were threatened when using touch. And this was something that hadn't come out of the female literature. It, we were quite shocked when they said, how do we learn about touch? It made us wonder, who's making the rules here? Let's take a look at the doctors. Only four studies. And we used the metaphor of touch as a tool. Doctors take the touch tool out of the box, push, push, apply it to the patient, and put it back in the box. So how can we put this all together? Well, we found three themes, which we integrated using the metaphor of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Theme one, touch is caring, but be careful. Touch is innocent, it's feminine, and like a little lamb needs to be protected. Its care is expressed through warm fuzzies, gentleness, and compassion. Do you interpret this pose as offensive or defensive? Risk is in the eye of the beholder. Theme two, touch is powerful and an expression of power. Hmm. Touch is an important part of practice. It expresses something human beyond words. It's an intuitive act, even in disciplines where touch is taboo. Touch is relational, but not a relationship of equals. Touch is metered out by healthcare professionals as expressions, expressions of, of care. care. There's a lack of mutuality. For example, when older male patients attempt to touch their nurses, they're soundly redirected. Team three, crossing boundaries and finding safe spaces. So touch involves crossing boundaries and finding safe spaces. So Martina, what do you think we've learned from doing all of this? I think we've learned that touch needs to be more explicit in healthcare. It's a very powerful thing, but it carries a lot of risks. And the, the environment in which touch occurs is very important. Okay. What do you think the practical applications are? Well, I don't think having a behavioral checklist of where to touch and how firm to touch is really going to move the conversation on. We need to talk with each other about what touch means to each of us and recognize that touch is something that happens between two people, that both of us are bringing something and both of us are taking something away from that experience. Mm. 